Okay, in this video we are going to go over matrix addition, uh, the transpose of a matrix, and the trace of a matrix. So first let's start off with matrix addition. Um, it's very, very straightforward. Um, I mean, okay, we'll just start with examples. We have our matrices laid out right there, and let's say we want to do A plus B. And yet, yeah, um, when you add matrices, add or subtract matrices, you can only add or subtract them if they are the same size. So like A and B are the same size matrix and C and D are the same size. So we can add and subtract A and B and we can add and subtract C and D, but we cannot add and subtract B and C or A and D because they're not the same size. But what you do when you're adding or subtracting is you go A plus B and then you have your matrix and the resultant matrix is going to be the same size as your two um, beginning matrices. So you just take the components, you add it component by component. So you do 2 plus 3, so we're going to have 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Then 4 plus 0 is 4. 6 plus 1 is 7. Um, then 1 plus 7 is 8. 3 plus 2 is 5. And 6 plus 5 is 11. So that's how you do matrix addition. Um, let's just keep going with another example. Let's do C plus D. So C plus D, again you take the first component, first first row, first column of C, and you add it to the first row, first column of D. So you got 2 plus 1 is 3, and again you do 2 plus 1 is 3, and then you move to the bottom row, you do 3 plus 4, is 7 and then you go 3 plus 4 is 7 and this also you can you can add and subtract them however you want so let's let's do another example where we do let's have b minus a is equal to okay so here we're going to take 3 minus 2 is in our first position 3 minus 2 then we're going to have 0 minus 4 0 minus 4 in the second position and then 1 minus 6 and keep going, we go 7 minus 1 and 2 minus 3 and 6 minus 5 and when we do all the calculations we're going to get 1 negative 4 negative 5, 6, negative 1, and 1. And that is how you do matrix addition and subtraction. I guess I should have added that up here. But now let's move on to transpose. Transpose. Okay, transposing is also very, very simple. All these concepts in this video are going to be the transpose is when you're going to switch the rows and the columns. So the rows here are going to become the columns. So let's just let's just go with examples. A transpose. The up, T up top means transpose. So we're this, we're just going to take the first row here. We got one, negative two, and four. So when you switch rows and columns first row is now going to become the first column. So you have 1, so that's going to stay the same, but then your negative 2 is down here and your 4. And then you move on to the next row, which becomes your next column. So you have 3, 7, 0, and likewise negative 5, 8, and 6. And that is A transpose. Let's do another one, a bigger one. B transpose is equal to, we're going to have, this is our first row, so in B transpose it's going to be our first column. So we have 2, which is the same, the first one's always the same. Then we have 7, then we have 5, 6, and 1. Now our second row becomes our second column. 3, 2, 6, 5, 9. And again, the third row becomes the third column. 8, 3, 1, 1, 0. And that is B transpose. 
And now after transpose, and now we move to the trace of a matrix. And the trace of a matrix is also very, very simple. Um, so the trace is just defined as you just add up the components along the diagonal. It's very, very straightforward. I mean, okay, so we have the trace of A is how you write it out. It's just going to be negative 1 plus 5 plus 7 plus 0 is equal to 11. It's probably one of the easiest things we could do here. And the trace of B then is equal to, I mean, 3 plus 5 minus 7, in which that's equal to 1. And that's how you do the trace of a matrix.